What's up, my lambs? Welcome back to a new year. It's 2024, and what are we doing? Well, we're playing a little bit of Magic. I'm probably going to be doing less Magic content, more other content, but I'm still going to play Magic because, I mean, that's what I do with my time. I play a lot of Magic. I always play Magic. Magic, Magic, Magic. So what are we doing today? Well, we're playing Timeless because it's the best format to ever exist on Magic Arena, and, uh, hell yeah, we're playing Tasha and her hideous laughter because we're going to... Prey on the people that are playing very small, little one cheap, cheap cost spells in their decks. Uh, so this is our win condition, Tasha City's Laughter. Or, I mean, Tasha can just kill them as well by laughing hideously at them. Uh, we have one of these funny guys. Uh, that's another win condition. I kind of just like this card. I don't know if it's good, uh, but it definitely has text. We're playing a control deck. We're playing Chalice of the Void, so we have no one drops in the main deck. Uh, we're just here to... Lock out of our opponent all one drops. We have memory lapses, our counter spell to kind of just put stuff on top of their deck. And then ways to win against our opponents is Narset. Stop their draw so they can't get us with one ring. They can't get us with um, like treasure crew, stuff like that. We have Ashiok to beat the land search decks. So anything that's trying to play like primeval titan, things like that. We're just going to bop them with our beautiful little Ashiok. Uh, go blank as a one of just to kind of hit some hands, get rid of graveyards. We have Ritual of Soot to kill all the small creatures that people are going to be playing. Yehenny's Expertise, same kind of idea. Shadow's Verdict, same same kind of thing. Uh, bigger creatures, if they're going to play them. We don't really have a way. Like, the problem is, if they play a Primeval Titan, we're going to have a hard time killing it. That's just the way it's going to be. But hopefully we can just kind of Block them out of being able to play it. Counter their stuff. Uh, we have Sorcerer Spy Grass to deal with opposing Planeswalkers. Things like Oko. Uh, we can also shut off Fetch Lands, which is pretty funny. Uh, we can really get our opponent with this if they don't know how to play against it. Thought Erasers, our Thought Sees. Sorcerer's Conta is a way to pretty much draw anything in our deck except for this guy. So that's just a huge, huge boon to our uh, card advantage. And uh, yeah, we're going to win with Tasha or Ashiok. We're going to mill out our opponents. Denethar, same kind of idea. Mana base. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. You know, a Hall of the Storm Giant. We got a Hive of the Eye Tyrant as our creature lands. We have an we're going to Ottawa. We got Tekanuma. Some Scry Lands. Bajuka Bog to get rid of stuff. A Restless Reef as a another wing condition. Darkless Shores, Watery Graves, a couple polluted deltas, Field of Ruin to deal with other posing stuff. Sideboard, we got fatal pushes if we're against um, you know. If we're on the play, or if we're on the draw against things like Ragaman, whatever. Inquisition, of like same idea. And we got Pengeron Besieged, which is a just a way to like stay in play and just start picking away small things. So if they're playing like Bowmasters, we can just kill them off, get them perpetually smaller. Uh, it's really good against Loris decks because we can just permanently kill the creatures. More gold blanks against stuff that use the graveyard. We have... Nice Souls Betrayal to also just lock out small creature decks. Spreading Seas against the land decks. And uh, a Crux of Fate, we can Dragon No Dragon in case they are playing stuff like Primeval Titan and other big things that these these smaller removal spells don't hit. And uh, that's the deck. Let's go. Let's slap down. We're playing some best of three in the ladder. And uh, yeah, let's see how. Our good old Walker Prison deck goes. There's a little brainstorm icon there. I was playing it before, but then I thought... Chalice of the Void is just way better in this format. I've been really impressed with how Chalice of the Void has been playing. Uh, I thought it would be good in Historic, uh, but it wasn't. But it is really good here, so... Most of my decks will just be playing a lot of that. And let's see how we go. Let's see how we do. Uh, this hand looks good. We're going to keep it. We can turn to search, or maybe we'll thought erasure depending on what they're playing. We're gonna thought erasure them. Definitely shun quite the card. You know, Shadow's Verdict can hopefully deal with that. Ah, see, they're playing lands, so we're definitely going to get them with a the thought erasure. I'm gonna play Pluto Delta. I don't even want to crack it though. Oh well, we're gonna crack it. It does suck. We don't really want them to be able to death right shaman us, because then they can get mana from it. Uh. Yeah, we'll pay the life. Why not? Hopefully we can... Yeah, you know, we exile our land? Get, get out of here. We cast a spell? Thought sp or Growth Spiral, maybe? 
I don't know what they're doing. They're thinking. They're thinking really hard. Maybe they just didn't realize that they have a trigger. Come on, you gonna exile it now? What are you gonna do? Nothing. That's right. Who Natty. I gotta get rid of Natty, right? Yep, we get rid of Natty. Keep that on top. That means next turn we can play Ashiok and start exiling their stuff. Uh, if we don't get rid of good old Natty, they just Deathrite Shaman Natty right now. Uh, but now they're just going to play good old Turfree, but Shadow's Verdict does get rid of Turfree. So, that's a, that's a plus. I do believe we just Ashiok and start milling them out. It's going to be really... It's going to really bop them. Uh, especially in this format with all the fetch lands. Opponents can't that. Like, they just can't use their fetch lands. What a joko. That's worse. I think a little merriment is um, now I don't even want to play this. I'm going to play Narset. Do I just hold it up? I understand. They don't do anything? Nah, I'm gonna look for something. See if I can get something to deal with these cards. Look at yeah, these expertise. Why not? With a foothills. Okay, so they're getting close to be able to Primeval Titan. Which is not great. Uh, ideal play next turn would be able to Yeheni's Expertise into Ashiok. Because then I can kill their board. Cast the Ashiok. And make sure they can't actually get us. I won't forget our time together. Turfree. Yep. Yeah. What's up, Turf Boy? Stand gonna bounce watch. nothing? Oh yeah. Oh, he's just I've gonna make. Okay. I got suit. So I'm just gonna cast this. They're gonna crack woodland foothills. Wooded foothills before I it resolves. Okay, they're doing the thing. Yep. They want to get their land so they can actually play magic. Good stuff. And she's gonna stay in play. And, uh, yeah, we're in fast turn. So we didn't hit our land. That is probably going to be the end of us. Uh, right now, they can technically just turn their Deathrite Shaman into a 3-3. Oh, I'm just going to create a food. Sure. One bite, and all your cares are Ottawa's in play. They've established Ottawa. I do still want to get a car. I do want to get a land. Then I can play Tasha. And Tasha will be able to at least kind of like make it worse to attack me. Debating on how magic works. Okay, they're exiling it. Oh, are they going to. No way. Are they just going to cast the Primeval Titan into nothing? Can't search. Okay, I'm into that. Yeah, you can cast whatever you want at whatever speed you want. Yeah, we're smashing in Ashiok. Okay, so I can still do this. I guess I do just get Henny's expertise. I uh, can't play either card. So I'm just going to mill them out. Because they're going to be able to attack. So they won't be able to... Oh, I guess... Yeah, so they won't be able to trigger the Primeval Titan on this attack. Which is nice. Sure. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Delightful. Love to see it. 
<laughs> also love to see it. We cast it again. They don't have to target anything, so them casting it, doing that, is very funny. Sure. Sure. I'll take six. You don't get your lands, though. Suck that. Um, I am in bad shape, though. Do need to draw another land so I can at least Shadow's Verdict. They're gonna natty me? Okay, it's bad, yeah. That's game. Alright, so we're gonna have to bring in Dragon No Dragon. Let's bring in some stuff, shall we? We're gonna go this card. We're gonna go Crux of Fate. Nice Souls Betrayal is probably not too good again in this form in this match. I do want spreading seas. So we're gonna go down a Tasha's Laughter is not what this match is about. Neither is Chalice of the Void. So this is kind of what we're gonna play. We're gonna hopefully get there. Fatal Push might be worth it. Uh, do we want Echoing Decay or Fatal Push? I think it's Fatal Push. Uh, not Inquisition. Not Inquisition. Oh, Inquisition's pretty good too. Uh, Sorcerer Spyglass, too good to pass up. We're gonna get rid of that. So we're gonna bring in Inquisition, two Fatal Push. Maybe one Fatal Push, two Inquisitions. Yeah, because we got this guy here. It was just off. All right, we've decided on the combination of things we want to put into our deck. So, his laughter is not bad. We could just randomly hit all of their <laughs> off their land targets. But if they're playing like a Troxa, then I don't want to hit. There's like so many six drops and seven drops that it's not worth our time. So on we go. Hopefully we can lock them out. Oko was the worst case draw there. Them top decking the Oko was really bad for us. But that's sometimes that happens. We have some better answers now. Let's see if we can bop our opponents. Playing first. Uh, we'll keep it. We got some gameplay. All right, they're mulliganing. That's a good sign for us. Perfect. Call the Storm Giants, and uh, we'll pass it up. Let's see what good old Robbie Ray's got for us. You got a one drop? Ugh. Death right, Shaman. I thought we were having fun, opponent. Um, eh, you know what? Suck it. Have fun with this. Now they can't really establish their board. They could besage you us, that'd be pretty fun. Okay, with the foothills, sure thing. I think I just narset if they don't do anything. Okay, it's probably turn two Oko. Turn two Oko is really frustrating, but not much we can do about it. Yep. Tefri would be fine. I don't actually care about Tefri. Now it's Oko. There he is. Food is created. I think a, little a shame. Oh, we're gonna play the Field of Ruin. We're gonna just cast Ashiok. Mill him out. To my world. Behold, my of Kill Deathrite Shaman. That blows up. That's fine, though. Winslow Peeth. We're gonna give that a big... Goose honk. 
a delightful little goose honk there. Um, we get a honk because Ashok says you don't get to use your fetch lands. Uh, which is delightful. Yeah, 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 yeah. I invite you to change your way. Sure thing, opponent. Okay, we're gonna play the Pluto Delta. And, uh, well, we'll get a watery grave. Pay two life. Get Tasha down. God damn. Well. Ugh, that sucks. Uh, so they got the turn two Oko into pretty much exactly what they wanted. They, they, they can play their mistakes and it doesn't even matter at this point. Alright, well they don't have any lands. That's kind of nice. We're going to exile the graveyard. I'm going to blow up their land. Maybe they're stuck on white mana. I don't know. Uh, we're going to get a swamp. We're just going to Thought Eraser them. Get their planes. That's pretty good for us. They didn't float the mana, so that's a good sign as well. Uh, we will definitely take this... Do we take Leyline Binding? We just take a Tefri, right? No, nah, we're, we're going to take Natural Order. Uh, that can go away. Good stuff. Uh, Oko is just going to beat us anyways, but uh, we'll see what we can do. We're on a very quick clock here. We got the delightful little guy. We need a... Uh, fatal push is not bad. We've tapped. Narset. Narset's pretty good. Here. Uh, ooh. We can do this. Uh, could do the Leaf's Toughness. I'll just pass. They make a food. It's not poison. Cast Tefri. We fatal push a food. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's see what they do. Oh, please bounce it. Nah, okay. They didn't double play mistake. As fun as that would be. Sure. I don't know why they did that. Oh. Tasha is very good now. We're just gonna keep on pumping up. Play this. Alright, now we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, them, them actually bouncing. What do they got? What do you got? Give me a good game. What do you got? Sure. Let's broaden your existence. Sure. I don't think that you reading your cards right there, opponent. I'll protect you. Okay. Tash is making it tiny though. Uh oh. Tash still lives. Tasha never dies, in fact. I know some sickening magic. There you go. That's what I like to see. Okay, they're taking some damage. Oh, it's lethal now. What are you gonna do, opponent? This might be a bad idea. Make a food. There you go. Sure now they don't die. Damage. They're gonna attack with both. Man, that's so funny.
Yeah, take one. Buzz off, not. Tick up. I can't wait for them to try it. Keep your distance, mortal. So they 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 have to crack the food. There you go. They can't target uh, my lands with their silly card, so that was pretty good. Um, yeah, well, I liked that a lot. But we're just going to keep it. Keep it going. Do I want Night of Souls Betrayal? No. Well, uh... Penergong besieged with Tasha was a delightful little time. So... Oh, and our opponent cracking their, uh, cracking their fetch land into, into the, uh, Ashiok was also very nice. So we got, we got a game on this. We beat a turn two Oko, which is pretty impressive. Uh, I think our opponent should have had that, though. You know, there was really no reason we should have won that. Uh, we're gonna keep it, actually. I think we got both of them. We got Spraying Seas. I think that might be good enough. They are playing blue mana, but I think Spraying Seas is, uh, it's banned in Historic, so it's gotta be good, right? We'll turn this to an island. That's pretty funny. Okay, they have the, they have the Grazer. They're grazing us. Still think we turn this to an island. Got a Halfling, okay. I'm still, I'm still on the, uh, for this do an island plan. Love to see it. Okay, Flood Strand. Getting another, probably, uh, Temple Garden. Clearing Pool, okay. No White Source. We'll just do this now. I think I'm just gonna get this tapped. And uh, pass the turn. See what they do. Nice, planes. Oh, cast this at the end of turn. See what our opponent does. Hell yeah. Ping them for one. Get him? Okay. We've been pierced by the spells. Uh, that's fine. Let's see what else they got? Ooh, Bayline. Sure thing. Uh, no attacks. Oko. Oko's in play. Not ideal for us. Out I think a little merriment is in order. You got a green source? I don't know what they're trying to do. Nothing. Alright. Okay, so we're going to do this. I think it's the a correct call. We will get rid of natural order. We will put Besiege on top. No attacks. It's a 3-3. Three, three. We know all about that. And put on your true shape. No blocks. We'll take three. This is fine. Delighted Halfling. This is actually way better than five. So now we get to... Oh, we don't have enough to get any expertise. I was getting excited. I was getting ahead of myself. So we're going to do this. Um, probably just going to fiddle push this. No attacks. So I have a halfling. I'll get smaller. 
We'll just start picking down their creatures. They still can't cast a natural order, which is kind of nice. Um, next turn, I think we do just Ashiok, right? Oh my god, it's a 2 2. Look is <laughs> next turn is going to be a 1-1 opponent. How do you feel about that? Are we going to right bounce our creature to our hand? Sure. Draw your card. You got me. Floor. Good stuff. Oh, tax. All right, so we're gonna put this to play. Tapped. We're gonna play an Ashiok. Do I mill them? I don't think I do. I think I just leave this be. Surrender. You. Uh, we say this one. Get smaller. I've got it. Yep. So attack for five. Let's broaden your existence. We're gonna kill Ashiok. Not bad. My okay, good game. What do you what do you got? Like you can't cast natural. To save you. Beautiful. I will get a land. It'll be a watery grave, tapped. What do you got for me? Nothing. Okay, well I'm gonna do this. Crack this. Get a swamp. We're going to not do that actually. Oh, uh, ritual set. Good. Oh yeah. I'll honk the goose at them. One bite, and all the Don't worry, gone. I got this. Very good. Um. Well, I guess I gotta do this. Get a ping Tefri. We're gonna play our lovely Tasha. We're just gonna keep on taking up. And then we're gonna <laughs> take up until we can alt. Because if we can alt Tasha, I think they're in real bad shape. They might just have more Leyline bindings, which is a problem. But if we just get it like Primeval Titans off the top, I think we have a good chance of crushing this. We gotta do this. That's pretty fun. Hell yeah. Double field. So much dead. Blood strand. Get an island. So they're in a bad position if they're just going to try and aggro me out. Because Tasha is very good at keeping... Keeping, like, even Oko food tokens down. Like, they're gonna attack me or Tasha, and I'm just gonna block with the 2 2 and kill it? Yeah. So I just gotta do this for free. Pretty great. These memory lapses, really bad. Uh, I, I don't think we do anything right now. I think we just do this. I think we just. Oh, we attack. We're gonna attack. We'll, we'll keep, we'll keep Tefri. Little tiny Tefri. I do think we ultimate Tasha though. Make food. I think a little merriment is in order. Another Oko, sure. But it's not gonna do what they want him to do. Oh my god. They gonna do it? They just can't see it. Are they going to do it? not how it works. It's still summoning sick. Correct. We gotta do this. Pull up this land.
Look at that island. They will get a forest. Very nice. Snow covered forest. Ooh, gotta keep them separate. Do you have the card? Uh, okay. Uh, put those cards in the battlefield. Okay, so we don't cast the cards so we can actually alt Kasha. They've done it. They've done the thing. They're gonna get Primeval Titan. They're gonna get a bunch of small creatures. We got a Troxa. Okay, interesting. Sure. Yeah, get all your cards. Very nice. Uh, what would we have hit? We would have hit our Boreal Grazer, Deathrite, Shaman, Delighted Halfling, so I'm very happy they cast the Atroxa. Because that would have been trash if we got that. Probably just game ending right there. Very nice. Ooh, another Tasha. So I guess we just... Yeah, we just do this. Let me take your creatures. Love to see it. I don't die. I take. Absolutely take action. We can do Bajuka Bog on our opponent. We get these two. Bajuka Bog them. Very nice. Get a Tasha into play. Tell them the best no more attacking me. It we'll pass. The best shot, adventurers. Sure. I'll give my life. Try this. They make a food. They have primal it's order. The Atroxix, that would be the most beautiful thing in the world. Uh Tefri is a problem. I can't these memory lapses are really bad in this game. Maybe I should have just put in more removal. Oh well. Yeah, you gotta get smaller. What do I get? Search for Skanta. We'll trigger, that's fine. Um, what do I do? I guess I just start... Start draining my opponent. Get him. Uh, yeah, end the turn. I die though. That is, that is the problem with this. I do just die. Nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's broaden your existence. All right, so I need to basically, I need to top deck dragon, no dragon. It's the only way I can survive this. I have no green sources to actually gain the life from Deathrite Shaman. I just have to block here, block here. Uh, yeah, block here, block two, nope. I gotta block three. I think this is still lethal, but we're going to drain our opponent one. It'll push, drain him. Got him. We probably should have done, yeah. Maybe if, we're, if we lose by two life, god damn it, we just tapped our Deathrite Shaman wrong. It's okay. On to the next one. We got Tefried out. A tough card to fight against. Uh, memory lapse did not work in that scenario. And uh, away it goes. On to the next one. Let's play. Let's play some Walker Prison. Let's go. On the ladder, into the next match. Let's see what we can find, and let's see if uh, let's see if Blue Black Planeswalker Control can actually do something. Uh, well, yeah, you know what? Over the power of 
memory lapse, we're gonna try it out. Dragon Race Channeler, we can at least decay that. Uh, Soot and Shadow's Verdict will be good later on. Alright. Dude, they're not doing anything pretty sweet, so we're just gonna hold off and wait for what they do. Getting them with a nice memory lapse would be fun. Yeah, like when they're gonna try and brainstorm. Some memory lapse there. There you go. Are you gonna put it in the graveyard? No? Good. Ah, oh, look. Oh, Ledger Shredder. Now we'll Thought Seize them. Now it's gonna be just good value. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna Thought We're Thought Erasure, I guess. Thought Erasure is great here. We don't care about, uh, was this counter target creature spell? Yeah, we don't care about that. Yep, see you later. Keep that on top. Uh, it comes up with cap, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, we will be able to Ritual of Soot them. Get them all sooty. Uh, they're gonna be able to get this guy going. Stern Scolding does absolutely nothing. Against us. We just have to try and... This is it, Planeswalkers? Does it, Planeswalkers? We gotta watch out for Unholy Heat as well. Bring a card, that's fine. Good thing. Castle Lockwain. We'll hold up uh, Echoing Decay. Oh, uh, will we? What do they got? All this? You know what? We're just gonna Echoing Decay right now. Give them the Decay. It's like the only creature spells, right? It's turn Scolding. Right. They're not allowed to yell at my. They're not allowed to yell at my Echoing Decay. Uh, our Chalice of the Voids are going to be amazing against this deck, though. Can they cast a second spell? Oh, they can! They can Lightning Bolt me! Alright. What do we got? Sure. Got me? Yep. Oh, so good. Alright, now we know their hand. Other than whatever they're going to get from this, but we're just going to Ritual Soot, and that should get close to closing this game out, at least. Draw your card. Can't stop that. You can't stop... Oh my god, it's Xanathar. He's the whole king... He's the guild king king. He's hilarious against this deck. Okay, you're bringing that into play. We can't cast Tasha, so we won't. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll just hold up Memory Lapse. If they try and cast uh, Gigantha, we can put it back on top of their deck. They probably won't like that too much. Then we can start hitting them with High the Eye Tyrant. And start exiling uh, unique card types. So they get their Delirium all gone. Because we also, we, I mean, Xanathar having six toughness is kind of, is kind of sucky just for this. Are they treasure cruising? Oh. That was the best news I've ever heard. My god, did you see how good that was? That was beautiful. Sure. You gonna shuffle it away? They're not going to. But now I gotta do this for free. They do not have delirium. Now I just gotta keep on going in. Okay, you can sacrifice your card. Get whatever land you want. Sure. Pack in. We're gonna get rid of the bobble. Ping him down. Love it. Next turn we get to play Xanathar. Cause they're just gonna play Gigantha. No, they're just done. Good game. Gigantha does not beat Denethar, obviously. Okay, what do we got here? We are playing against this silly little deck. Inquisitions, Go Blanks? Go Blanks are pretty good. I think Go Blank is where it's at. This is definitely a Tasha's Hideous Laughter kind of game. Yohani's know, Expertise, maybe down that. Let's do Echoing Decay might not be where we're at either. 
But I want to spread and see. It's kind of funny. I think Night of Souls Betrayal. Night of Souls Betrayal might be able to just lock out some of their stuff. Like, it kills Monkey. It kills a unthiliriumed... Uh, you, you saw him. Dragon Rage Channeler. We got the Bofa Man, but we have no black sources, so we're gonna have to throw this away. I do make, like, I, I do love making everything laugh. But. Uh, it's black source. But it's, uh, all, this sucks. Uh, We're gonna keep this. No, we're not. We're gonna mulligan. Yeah, let's have mana. That's good. We're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna get rid of Castle Vantress. Try and play it like this. Well, uh, Tasha's good enough. We'll see. We'll see if. Tash is good enough. It's to be determined if Tash is good enough or not. Uh, five, five cards against this. Probably not going to be as good as it could be. Tuara, not really what we want to see. I'm just going to crack this now. Barely going to crack theirs. What do I want? Do I want... I think I just want the... Watery Grave tapped. Doesn't matter. We'll show them we got nothing. They can do whatever they want. Do whatever you want, opponent. Sure, faithless looting. The perfect art of faithless looting as well. Alright, they didn't want to consider at all. Ooh, that's pretty good. So I'm going to pay two life. I'm going to definitely search for Skanta. Maybe they have stubborn denial. Maybe they don't. They don't. Okay, this is... This is good. When the games get close, as like this one will, uh, having basically an extra draw every turn, or like a oh, wait, oh, God, are you serious? I, mean, I guess we're gonna do this. We can just start getting them. Oh, it's an arc like deck. <laughs> well, well, Ashiok says no to that. What's up, Leggy? Lightning Bolt, is this deal to me? I'm gonna take two damage, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Bobble, yep. Alright. They draw a card. Uh, both a man on top. I think we pay the life. Play it. Tasha. Tasha's gonna be pretty key here. And then we're just going to, uh. Yeah. We're gonna mill him out. Not mill him, like, not fully mill him out, but like. Tasha it is, job. We got rid of an Arclight Phoenix. We got rid of a bunch of their cards. We got actually got rid of some of the bigger mana cards, so our Tasha's his la Tasha's hideous laughter will be a bit better. Lightning Bolt, sure. Take a pile of damage. This card, card, do they this card land? They do. That's great for us. They're going to try to attack Tasha and not do what it does. They didn't understand what was going on. Uh, ooh, we're going to keep that, actually. I think, uh, I think that's pretty good. So we're on the mill out plan. Let's see how much we mill him out. We're getting there. Okay, Arc Light Phoenix. Not ideal for us. Sure. Make it smaller. Small Light Phoenix. Uh, yeah. Ooh, actually, that's kind of good. So we're just going to put that, and we're just going to do this, and... Yeah, we're going to pass the turn. See what they do. Tackle both. Okay, well, in response to that, we're going to Bowmaster. Ping the Arclight Phoenix. We're going to draw a card, discard a card. We're going to Bowmaster them. Hell yeah. Unholy Heat. Ledger Shredder. Oop. Uh, well, we can't take another... We can't let them cast another spell. Fiery Inscription, what? What a bomb card we've been... We just got donked by. Yeah, we're dead. 
All right, on the next one. Fire inscription. Yeah. Do we have any outs to that? Not really. I mean, I guess Inquisition and Kozilek. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So they they're playing. Um. I don't think we sideboarded correctly. Do we want spreading seas. Probably not. Nine Souls Betrayal is fine as one of. Little push. Not really. And do we need to put the Inquisitions in? Get rid of the memory lapses. Put the Inquisitions. Maybe. Ah, memory lapse is just so good though. We're gonna keep the memory lapse because uh, they're playing treasure cruise. Memory lapse is just so good. So we're gonna we're gonna put in the inquisitions. We're gonna go down. Mm, our set's pretty good. Ashiok might not be the best one. Ritual of Soot is pretty okay. I think we want Shadow's Verdict instead. Up one. Eh, Yehenis. We want the Yehenis over the Ritual of Soots in this specific time. Let's go down the Sorcerer's Spyglasses and uh, we want this. Yeah, we do. We want one of those. Let's try it out. We don't really have a good way of destroying the enchantment though. Bowmaster kind of stops them a little bit, but damn. Uh, yeah, this is good. So we get a... We got turn one Inquisition, turn two Chalice of the Void them. So that is kind of where we want to be. So we get to turn one, get rid of Brainstorm. Turn two, make it so they can't flashback their Faithless Looting. I mean, they're going to face Faithless Looting because they have nothing going on. Hell yeah. We're gonna do this. Chalice on one. Beautiful. Bajugabog him. Go blank him. Good old Leggy. Oh, I think we just go blank him now. Go blank. Making their treasure crews basically pointless. Oh, they hit a bunch of that. Good stuff. Their hand's really bad. Nice. And they're going to try and work towards this uh, treasure cruise. It's going to be pretty tough running with what we got going on. Yep. Ganthin, hand. With that. Guess we just got to play this. I'm just going to keep nice. on getting them. Blood Moon. Spicy. I mean, I guess we'd have to expect that, right? Sure, Blood Moon's in play. Very nice. I take the damage. I don't know if anyone can hear that, but it's my rice is done now, and that's really nice too. We have the good old go blank. We don't get to play him to Turok, so this is the closest we get. So we're just gonna keep on milling him out. Nice. Get rid of all that. We'll oh, he's attack. oh, he's attacking me. He's not a great win condition. Okay, now we have... It's gonna keep on going. Get here some more Arclight Phoenixes. Love to see it. End the turn. Alright. Leggy. Leggy's in play. Now they're attacking Ashiok. They've had enough. So we're gonna play our Bowmaster. Smack him for one. I mean, we can't play it, but... God, do I want to. Uh, no attacks. We're just gonna Ashiok them. They have Blood Moon down, so they're not gonna be searching the library anyways. I'll just uh, keep, on, keep on getting them. Oh, there we go. Tasha's in play. This should end up the game. This should end the game pretty fast. Tash takes up. No attacks. They can't unholy heat for anything good. And we won. And that's how that is. Well, it was just a little short one for this time. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for having a time with me. You know, one one. Just a little. I mean, it wasn't even that short of an episode, was it? 
No, it was 50 minutes, two matches, but that's the way it goes. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one, and uh, bye for now.